Hey guys, Aaron Classic Gamer, and guess what? We picked up another Evercade game, and that is Irem Arcade 1. New collection with six games on it, and of course we just got the Evercade Versus, so we'll be playing that on there for screen capture. Pretty cool stuff. One of my oldest games and most favorite shooters of all time is a horizontal shooter, and that is our type as you can see, I've got that for the Master System. Here's some box art from back in the day. It's our type arcade action for your Sega system. The galaxy is deep peril. Foul creatures from the evil Bido Empire have warped across space to invade and conquer our planet. There is only one hope for victory. The Earth Defense League has chosen you to pilot the R9, a nuclear-powered space fighter that can cut through invading aliens faster than a lightsaber through butter. Fly R9 through... Eight exciting levels of high-powered action. Use your plasma gun to rip through armies of nasty creatures and their deadly machines. And when the ongoing gets really tough, pick up droid units to make your ship even harder hitting. You'll be up against creatures so mean and ugly, they'll make your hair stand on end. But Earth is depending on you, so strap yourself in the cockpit, put your fingers on the triggers, and blast them out of the skies. Of course, there's one player, eight levels. Good old Sega there. But anyway, guys, we're going to do an unboxing of this awesome Irem Arcade cartridge and check out the six games on here, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box art here on the front. Pretty cool. Shows the cartridge and all the different games for it. It's rated 12 Peggy, which I'm not sure what that totally is. But uh, like I said, six games included. Here's the side of the old school Irem logo there and this is number seven in the arcade series guys Irem Arcade 1 it says six classics from Irem R-Type, In the Hunt, Moon Patrol, Lightning Swords, Battle Chopper, Ten Yard Fight that features of course In the Hunt, R-Type and Moon Patrol a really really awesome set of games here guys uh, In the Hunt is probably one of the best and most interesting shooters out there. There's our type which kind of started it all really. Moon Patrol which is awesome. Um, let's see. Lightning Swords. I haven't played that a whole heck of a lot. Ten York Fight is an early um, football game that's really cool. And Battle Chopper is also another cool shoot 'em up. So, Alright guys. This works on the EXP, the Versus, and the Evercade Original. Let's go ahead and get our handy dandy knife here. Da, 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 da. Let's open this up. I know, my videos ought to be how not to open a cartridge. Go ahead and put that in the comments. That's okay. Alright, guys, here is Iron. Arcade 1. This is cool, guys. Let's go ahead and open it. It says Original Arcade Games. Da -da 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 -da. Of course, you have the cartridge, which is in full color and awesome looking. Featuring our type on the front. That's awesome. And here we are, again, with a full color manual, guys. Gotta love these. Let's check out this beautiful glossy manual. Of course, featuring R-Type and Moon Patrol here. All six games are actually featured on here, but got the arcade there with the R-Type. Awesome stuff. All right, about Irem. Irem began its life as IPM, International Playing Machine a Company Limited in 1974 with company founder Kenzo Tatsumoto, indulging his fascination for interactive gaming hardware by building and installing video game machines. IPM released its first internally developed video games in 1978, but it didn't score its biggest hit until the 80s, after it found its Self needing to ch change its name for trademark reasons. The newly rebranded IRAM, which stands for International Rental Electronics Machines, saw a big success, partic particularly in 1982's Moon Patrol and 1987's R Type. Both of these can be enjoyed in this collection. Tatsumoto left IRAM in 1983 and founded Capcom, but IRAM continued to create incredible classic arcade titles that left a strong impact on gaming history. Check that out. Awesome stuff. First game, of course, is R Type. Shoot 'em up. Fact R Type's iconic force power up was inspired by dung beetles rolling their favorite stinky lumps along in front of them. It's a horizontal screw scrolling shoot 'em up for one or two players taking turns. To defeat evil Bido Empire, you'll not only have to be careful pilot of your R9 Starfighter, you also need to master the use of the force. Attach it to the front or back of your ship to increase your firepower and protect you or send it out ahead to provide covering fire. 
two pages devoted to one awesome game. And there's the different bosses, shows the different power-ups. Check that out. Even the odds. And we have Moon Con Patrol. is a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up For one or two players taking turns, as a member of the Luna City Police Force, you must patrol Sector 9 to keep it safe from the toughest thugs in the galaxy. Race to each checkpoint and as quickly as possible for big bonuses, but watch out for the many hazards on the moon's surface. Really cool game, guys, for the time. 1982. Very early shoot 'em up. Just talks about the thugs of Sector 9. In the hunt. All the way from 1993, guys. Another shoot 'em up, horizontal shoot 'em up. Says, In the Hunt is an underwater themed shoot 'em up for one or two players simultaneously. Unlike many other games of this type, In the Hunt does not force you onwards at a constant pace. Instead, it's up to you how you proceed through the levels. Don't think your foes in the dark anarchy society are going to take it easy on you though. Chaos awaits. So you're a submarine guys and you can shoot aerial uh you can shoot missiles at the all the aerial combat planes and such that are trying to kill you. They're using bombs and shooting at you and then you can shoot at everything from icebergs to other submarines and ships that are floating on the sea. Pretty wild guys. Very cool shoot them up. First played this Years later at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Shows all the different areas. Your miss mission to defeat the DAS and its doomsday weapon will take you around the globe. Beneath the waves, here's a look at some of the locales you'll be paying an explosive visit to. Alright, everywhere from the South Pole to the deep dark sea, the sunken town, seabed ruins. Then we have Battle Chopper from 1987. It's a shoot 'em up for one or two players taking turns. It's a QT Copter Mr. Heli. Blast your never ending swarms of enemies as you seek to unmask the mysterious the muddy. Shoot or bomb your crumbling blocks to find precious crystals and spin them on a selection of power ups. A great adventure lies ahead of our hero. Alright, some cool shots there. Definitely like an early cute 'em up. Then we have Lightning Swords. It's an action game for one or two players simultaneously as Blue Dragon. You must avenge the murder of the Princess Orchid by battling your way across feudal Japan. Fight defensively by blocking enemy strikes and charging energy in your blade. Then unleash power strikes to hit foes from afar. Cool old game, guys. Action game. Then we have Ten Yard Fight from way back in 1983. Ten Yard Fight is an American football game for one or two players taking turns. Advance as far as you can from kickoff. Then fight your way towards a precious touchdown. Run with your quarterback, pass sideways to a running back, or pass forwards to your long distance receiver. Watch where your opponents are and choose your tactics wisely. Nothing to look at, but definitely a fun little game. Have you got them all? Here's all the different cartridges. You can go through and check them all off. Check your local Evercade stock list now. Alright, and there's a picture of the beautiful Evercade Versus that we'll be playing on here shortly. Alright, guys. Throw this in the Evercade portable just to hear the awesome startup screen. Then we'll flip over to the other screen. We'll be checking it out with our capture device. Anytime. There we go. Gotta love it, guys. We'll flip through these games real quick and then we'll jump over to the verses. Alright, guys, here we are. Let's go ahead and check out this awesome collection of games here. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Lightning Swords. It's an action game for one or two players simultaneously. As Blue Dragon, you must avenge the murder of Princess Orchid by battling your way across feudal Japan. Fight defensively by blocking enemy strikes, charging energy in your blade. Then unleash powerful strikes to hit foes from afar. Fight defensively. If you try to hack and slash your way through lightning swords, you'll end up dead. Keep that button held down, block your enemies, then strike back 
with charged energy blasts. All right. Let's check it out from way back in 1991, guys. Lightning Swords. Good old Irem. Check out Battle Chopper. I've already read that part in the manual, so while well known under its North American title Battle Chopper today, this game was also known as Mr. Healy no Dabu Ken. Mr. Healy's Great Adventure on its original Japanese release, and simply, simply Mr. Healy for its European versions. Apparently the noise that Mr. Healy makes is officially Baruru in Now You Know. <laughs> All the way from 1987, guys. The interesting, maybe even cute em up. Battle Chopper. Cool pseudo 3D effect to start out the game. Can't go wrong there. Onwards and onwards. Cool. Kind of 
lot of bombs. I'm not doing very good, I don't feel like right that. Wow, died. At least you get a couple hits in. Definitely worth giving this uh, another look, though. Not sure what the money does, but... It's a little difficult here, guys. Pretty wild. I'm sure you can buy some sort of upgrade. Ah! saw a little bit of the game, but definitely fun. We didn't get on the uh, leaderboard or anything like that. Hopefully being a little more familiar with some of the other games, we'll get a little bit farther. But yeah, it's one of the earlier cute ups guys, and it was by Irem. The good old days, guys. There's really not a bad game on any of this. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Ten Yard Fight. Sideways pass is B and forward pass is A. All right. Read a little more here. While simplistic 10-yard fight was regarded as a significant step forward for an American football game on its original release, rather than attempting to be an accurate simulation, instead focused on immediacy and playability, making it ideal for arcade players. If you manage to score a touchdown from the kickoff, you get 20,000 points. You don't see scores like that on TV. guys a fun little game from 1983 pretty wild high school first half we gotta go all the way Pass of 50. Oh, man, we made it to the 45. Nice. Made it past the 50-yard mark. That's a good run. Oh, no. We didn't go very far there. Oh, interception! Oh, no. Oh, no. 20 yards back, so we start again. That that doesn't even make any sense, but... Oh, my God, another interception. So instead, it takes your yards away. That's pretty wild. 20 yards back again. So much for having a good run, huh? Hey, we made it forward a couple yards there. Nice. Now we're second ten. I ran the ball that time. Rushed it. Got a couple points. Nothing too wild. Not really. A couple yards. All right. 
Should be a first down. We're doing something here. Oh no! Another interception! Holy crap, holy Batman. 20 yards back. Cheese and rice. Well, we're back almost to the 20. <laughs> oh boy. Game over. Yeah, we suck. Oh well. That was fun. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Very primitive, but definitely fun. So we played 10 yard fight. We played Battle Chopper. Played some Lightning Swords. How about some Moon Patrol? Moon Patrol is a historically significant game for several reasons. It's the first game from Takahashi Nishiyama, who later created several famous fighting game series, including Street Fighter, Fatal Fury, and The King of Fighters. It's one of the first games to use parallax scrolling, and it's Irem's first big hit. Katie says you can race through points A through E at full speed, giving you a nice big time bonus. Learn the stages piece by piece, and you'll be breaking records in no time. All right, so fire and jump. Not too complicated here, guys. Give it the old coin here. I have a lot of experience with the game, but I have played it. Too hard. Let's give it another coin. Let's see if we can get a little bit farther. Ah! It got me. see what's going on on two different planes. Very complicated game. Like I said, I've never been good at it, but... Oh no! These bombs start to fall, man. What are you supposed to do? that thing? Oh, I fell on that trying to figure out what that was. Jeez. Fun game. Graphically impressive for the time. And it goes quick, guys. It's definitely an enjoyable game. And that's what it's all about. All this retro arcade goodness. Or retro games in general. It's all the simplistic awesome gameplay and fun crazy stuff you get yourself into. Let's go ahead and check out our type. Like I showed all this here at the beginning uh, of the video and read uh, my old school um, clamshell Sega Master System game of Irem. I read all this stuff to you, so let's go through the history. Our types iconic force power up came about from Irem staff joking about dung beetles. They thought it would be amusing to have a game where you powered up the dung rather than the beetle. Katie says, as a beloved as it is, our type is super hard, so no one's going to judge you if you credit feed your way through this one. That's probably how I'd have to do it. So you got fire, and you got detach. Nothing too wild there, guys. Let's jump back into it. One game after this, and that's in the hunt. Saving the best for last. Not that I'm going to get very far, but we'll check it out anyway. What a beautiful game, guys. Blast off and strike the evil Beedo Empire. Alright. I'm starting to really like this controller. 
I need an arcade controller, guys. It's just what I need. The games are playing very crisp. I'm liking this collection. Any terribleness is on my part entirely. with all those awesome power-ups and there we go. That was sad, man. That was sad. What a great game. And I'm just so lousy at it. It's unbelievable. Dang it. They make it damn near impossible if you die in this stage of the game. Damn near impossible. We're gonna run out this credit, guys, and uh. Let me start over. I have to do another game. Out the clock, guys. Let's move on to In the Hunt. You're not 
see any gameplay greats going on here. Like one too many beers, probably. But we are celebrating this awesome collection of games here. In the hunt, guys. Underwater theme shoot 'em up for one or two players simultaneously. Unlike many other games this type, In the Hunt does not force you onwards at a constant pace. Designer Hazuma Kujo was inspired to create In the Hunt by Sound of Water Fountain. And Sound of a Water Fountain, pardon me, and a desire to buck the trends of shoot 'em ups genres such as force scrolling and science fiction settings. The result was one of Iron's most visually striking games. There are different endings to the in the hunt depending on if you finish the game solo or with a friend and whether or not you use a continue can you see them all well there is save states so it is possible to beat this game though even with save states you would have to be an amazing player and have a great memory and be able to remember all the craziness that goes on in the hunt This is definitely one of the best, if not the best, cartridge here in the Evercade, guys. Check out the sonar, guys. Stage one, it's the South Pole. It's cloudy. Actually, into the gas basin, they destroy their system before it's too late.
craziness going on here, guys. Unbelievable. Look at how beautiful this game is. It reminds you of, like, Metal Slug. clear guys I want to just forge ahead but alas we will just go until we lose a credit and that'll be the end here guys stage two it's rain here you're underwater you're on the surface you're shooting missiles you're dropping bombs it's just crazy stuff shooting torpedoes all sorts of wild stuff we made it on the leaderboard number six here guys and i'm fitting into an awesome cartridge playing this on the evercade versus you did see i have the original evercade handheld i've not gotten the evercade exp yet anyway guys Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. And as always, peace and happy gaming. Check out the IRM Arcade 1 collection for the Evercade family of systems, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Happy gaming.